Now to Giles County, where FEMA crews are in the Commonwealth on assessment surveys of their damage. Some communities along the New River are continuing their long road to recovery. This is a look at what happened in Narrows alone after the New River flooded last week. We took this video last Friday. The high water destroyed hundreds of campers and damaged scores of homes. We visited Narrows and Rich Creek Friday, where most of that damage can still be seen. Giles County's emergency management coordinator says 400 campers were destroyed, 60 homes were impacted, and 48 families were displaced. Our photojournalist Jessica Nuzzo documents the power of water and its devastating impacts on anything in its path, but it could not wash away the resiliency of the community. I was here the, the first day it flooded really bad because we was able to come in from the other end and I watched the campers float in the campground part of it. You know, it's bad. You don't really realize how much force the water has, but it's really destructive. This is the second worst flood in Giles County history. Um, the only worst flood was in 1940. Uh, so most of the folks that we see have never seen this within their lifetime. Um, here it was just catastrophic within this campground. Some of the other campgrounds has been just catastrophic damage. It's total loss of homes. I mean, there's folks that have lost literally everything. Uh, they, they lost completely everything they own. Um, you know, there were, there were permanent residents within these campgrounds that you know, their, their camper is now just pieces of wood that are they're laying on the ground. It's been totally stripped apart into shreds. 101 sites at our campground. Um, most of those were occupied. Um, and, you know, the campers that were left in there are looking at some of them aren't being covered by their insurance companies. Some didn't have insurance coverage. So, um, you know, a lot of people like to say, well, it's just a camper, but we did have some permanent residents there. That's their home. was here two days ago, he leaned to me and he said, have you applied for financial aid? And I said, no. It hasn't even occurred to me. We've had so many volunteers come in to help. That's the last thing on my mind right now. And our campground family, they've been great. I mean, they all pitched in to help with cleanup and it's it's been you know, as, as devastating as it has been, it's also been um, just a sense of community has been wonderful. The community has been great. I mean, the response from, from everybody, the individuals in the community, the fire department, the, the town of Rich Creek, the county of Giles, I mean, we, we couldn't have asked for anything more. Giles County folks are just tough, resilient, and self-sufficient, and it's, it's been unbelievable to see this community come together. We're going to get through this, and we're going to be stronger when, on the other side.